after having the general form which is x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 1 is equal to 0, we are also asked to draw the circle. But how are we going to do that? So coming from general form, we need to have the standard form which is quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Why? Because coming from the standard form, we can get the center and radius of the circle. So if we have the center and radius of the circle, we can now draw the circle. So let's work out the general form. We will be having x squared minus 6x plus y squared is equal to 1. Okay? So, for x, we are going to apply completing the square. So, for y, no need. Okay? So, completing the squared for x, we have a negative 6, the constant of x. Negative 6 divided by 2. The quotient will be negative 3. Then, we are going to square it. We will be having 9. So, add both sides by 9. To make the equation balance, x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared is equal to 1 plus 9. So, what will be the factor of this? The factor of x squared minus 6x plus 9. We will be having x minus 3 squared plus y squared is equal to 10. We are going to get the square root of the radius, then squared. So, it will become square root of 10 squared that will be the value of our radius so coming from the standard form this is now our, our standard form we can now determine the center and radius of the circle what will be the center the center will be 3 and 0 and the radius will be equal to square root of 10 or if we are going to get the value of square root of 10 it will give us 3.16 Okay, with the following information Center which is 3 and 0 and radius is equal to Square root of 10 or 3.16 Then the circle passes through the points 2 and 3, 6 and 1 And 4 and negative 3 Let us now draw the circle So there are so many conditions, right? The center will be 3 and 0 The radius is square root of 10 Or 3.16 And it should passes through the points 2 and 3 6 and 1 and 4 and negative 3 so in graphing this circle we uh, I, I suggest to download the application GeoGebra we will try to graph the circle using the GeoGebra this is an application which can we use in uh, graphing in Cartesian plane so let us try and I will show you how to use that GeoGebra ok so this is an example of Jeo Jebra So how are we going to use that? Simply lang, madali lang to no? So just simply encode the equation Then the application itself will graph the, uh, the equation So our equation is x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 1 Is equal to 0 So here, we are going to input the equation Okay so we have x squared x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 1 is equal to 0 Okay so yan as you can see, automatic na graph siya. Let us zoom para mas makita natin. What are the conditions? Let us see if it satisfies the conditions. Okay? So, going back. Center is at 3 and 0. Then, radius is 3.16. Center is at 3 and 0. As you can see, exact. The center is at 3 and 0. Okay, so uh, it is uh, three, uh, more than 3, the radius. As you can see, coming from 3, lagpas. So, tama rin, no? Okay, so this is the uh, illustration of our graph. 
Now, let us see if it satisfies the condition that it passes through the three points, which is 2 and 3, 6 and 1, and 4 and negative 3. Let us locate. Uh, the first point is 2 and 3. Where is 2 and 3? Here. So, makikita natin 2 and 3. Okay? So, kita natin, nasa 2 and 3 talaga siya. Tinamaan niya talaga yung 2 and 3. Ayan, 2 and 3. So, tama. Tumama siya dun sa unang point. Let us assume that it is point A. Next, the other, the other point is 6 and 1. Tumama ba siya sa 6 and 1? So, this is 6 and 1. So, you can see, tumama ulit siya. 6 and 1. So, as, let us assume that point B is 6 and 1. Then, lastly, 4 and negative 3. 4 and negative 3. So, nandito siya. Okay? As you can see, it, all, uh, it satisfies uh, all the condition. The center at 3 and 0. Radius, which is square root of 10 or 3.16. Then it passes through the points 2 and 3, which is point A. 6 and 1, which is point B. And 4 and negative 3, which is point C. Again, I highly recommend to uh, download the application GeoGebra and try, to, uh, try it by yourself. Okay? Thank you. That's all for today. Have a nice day.